You could feel an entire bar hold its breath. only to exhale following the final shot in the kind of winning elation not seen near the campus of Loyola in decades. My heart's still pounding out of my chest. I, it's crazy. We never thought this would ever happen. This is surreal. One of the best fields in the world. Did a miracle happen tonight? Yeah. I mean, a miracle happened two days ago and then again today. <laughs> Keep the miracles rolling. That's exactly right. Let's go Ramblers. Sophomore Megan De La Cruz and hundreds of her basketball buddies watched school history unfold inside Bar 63. I see a lot of people I know, and I'm glad that they're all here cheering on. Ah, get it, get it. Like, I don't even know anyone, and I'd be like, let's go, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, X Spider 2. Go field, they can do nothing. Yeah! Vocal cords were harmed in the making of this story, a tale with lead changes, moments of agony, and minutes at times feeling like pressure-filled hours. Four minutes! Come on! Four minutes for the rest of your life! In the end, the Ramblers and adrenaline took over. I think this is what it feels like to be in shock. <laughs> it's amazing. It's Cinderella story. It's crazy. I... Have you ever felt this kind of energy? No, no. On Wednesday, Calhoun and 103rd was moving. With the exception, Pamela Watkins. He stopped me for speeding. She had to pull over. It's like, oh man, coming down 103rd. It's the Chicago firefighter was in uniform, on her way to work and felt something wasn't right. Separate officer may have felt it too, stopping his squad to talk to her. I didn't get out until the other officer who pulled up alongside of me gave me permission. That's when the officer behind me got out, his hand on his gun. Get in the car, get in the car. You feared for your life? I did. Watkins says the verbal abuse. Get in the car, get back in the car. Turned physical. He's like, this is where the door slammed it. He didn't care that your foot was in the way. No, and then he did it a second time. She's wearing bandages rather than a cast. Her heavy work boots lessened the impact. This is what saved. Should this cop be on the streets? No. She would know. For more than 16 years, Watkins was a Chicago police officer who also pulled over cars. I work with some really great police officers. According to the Citizens Police Data Project, the veteran officer in question received at least 17 complaints and was disciplined at least once since 2011. We all are not bad. We all do not condone this behavior. This week, Watkins received a ticket, an injured foot, and word her case is under investigation. IPRA has contacted me. And a spokeswoman for IPRA confirming tonight there is an independent investigation. That includes a review of video from the stop. Very little stops the wind's icy advance outside this Bronzeville building. You can feel the air blowing in on you. Geneva Taylor says that's also the case inside her basement apartment. And all these clothes I got on and I'm still not warm. She adds there's been no heat or gas here for about two months, conditions causing concern and prayer. God, please don't let nothing happen to me, me and my daughter. Taylor's daughter Maddie and her brother, who asked not to be on camera, rely in part on a hot plate for both their meals and warmth. I feel like don't nobody care. The temperature inside was only 46 degrees. Pastor Gregory Daggett of Joy of Fellowship Church says two of his parishioners called him about the family's crisis. He called on the city. You called him and you told him he, he is no answer. A building inspector listened as Taylor described her failed efforts to tell her landlord. He knows you have no heat. Sure he Do you have hot water? None. Firefighters took her and her family out of the cold conditions. There's no going back to this house, is there? There is none. In fact, as we speak, it should have already been boarded up. They were taken to Mercy Hospital as officials work to find them safe housing. As for what would have happened if others didn't intervene. You'd have a different story, uh, maybe one with tragedy where people were found frozen to death, and we've seen that before. We were also unsuccessful in reaching out to the landlord. As for where the family will be living longer term, that's unclear at this time. The pastor says that he will be working with the city and affiliated groups to find them safe housing. Sometimes the novelty of nature. It always comes down to composition and lighting. Becomes the focus. A photographer, Josh Zelke. The shooting in Sanibel, it was so beautiful. But back in May, a trip to a Florida beach involved his lens and what he spotted with his eyes. 
what didn't really look like a camera at the time. It was all rusty and had barnacles on it. He took home what remained of a waterproof camera once looking like this. Yeah. <laughs> Carefully cut out the memory card from the layered grip of the aged calcium and debris. Um, well, and to his surprise, here's a whole variety of these family photos. The mutilated memory card revealed someone else's memories. I do it as a career, so I mean to lose an entire group of photos would be devastating for me. So a man taking photos began looking for the strangers in about 170 found photos he rescued from a watery digital grave. It basically comes down to I'd like someone to do the same for me. He shared his find on Facebook. The first day it was about 200. And the shares kept coming. It blew up big time. How many shares? It's up to, well, it got up to 3,000 plus. As soon as the shares started happening, I was like, I'm, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna find these people. After only 11 days, the owner of the calcified camera came forward. He found it about a block away from where I lost it. West Palm Beach, Florida's Kristen Cirillo says she lost the $200 camera about five years ago on vacation, but the images inside were far more valuable. They are priceless memories and uh, I love looking at them. It's, it's really fun to look back and I remember that trip. To hear their excitement is the best part of it all. He's just an amazing soul. Zelke may prefer to take pictures. Oh yeah. But it's what he returned that's leaving a lasting impression. It was awesome. It was such a great experience. Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News.